in previous video we discussed that uh, the antigen presenting cells will bind to the naive T cells and then binding of this antigen presenting cell to the naive T cells and production of interleukin and binding to the receptor will activate the T cells and now the T cells become active. Activated T cells will proliferate and become more numerous. So you're going to see uh, T cells will just keep dividing and proliferating and expressing some receptors. Now in those activated T cell, if natural, natural killer cell produces a cytokine that's called interferon gamma, this interferon gamma will go and bind to uh, the receptor on the surface of the activated T cell and convert those T cells to into T helper 1 cell. So binding of interferon uh, gamma produced by the natural killer cell will take those activated T cells and convert them to T helper 1 cell. Those T helper 1 cells will produce further, uh, it will produce many different types of uh, cytokines that we're going to look at. One of the cytokines that it will produce is interferon gamma and this interferon gamma and those interferon gamma will go and bind to those receptors and further further convert uh, the active T cells to uh, T helper 1 cells. Uh, antigen presenting cells, other antigen presenting cells such as uh, macrophages, dendritic cells will produce interleukin-12-2, another cytokine. And then cytokine will also go and bind to the surface of the activate, uh, to the surface receptor of the activated uh, T cells and further convert them to T helper 1 cell. So you see how T helper 1 cells are produced? T helper T activated cells uh, are binding either to interleukin-12 produced by the activated macrophages uh, or they're pro uh, binding to uh, interferon gamma which is produced by natural killer cells and both of them will activate the T active cells to become T helper 1 cells also one other thing that you should note about the interleukin-12 that this also causes inflammation. This is an inflammation, inflammatory cytokine. Okay, to summarize everything, uh, we already discussed that antigen-presenting cells produce interleukin-12, natural killer cells produce interferon gamma, and both interferon gamma and interleukin-12 affects the activated T cell to become T helper 1 cell. Uh, once this activated T cell is converted to T helper 1 cell, uh, T helper 1 cell will produce different types of chemokines, interferon gamma, interleukin 2, uh, TNF, CD40, TGF, beta, and so forth. So those are the different types of uh, uh, chemokines produced by the T helper cell. One other thing that you should notice here, that interferon that's produced by T helper 1 cell will inhibit proliferation of the T helper 2 cells. So basically, what you're seeing over here, that the product of this cell will stop basically production of this cell. So this cell is inhibited by the product of this cell. And at the same time that those products, of, uh, the product of T helper 1 cell will inhibit proliferation of T helper 2, it will lead to further activation of macrophages and it will further activate macrophages to destroy the pathogen. Again, over here we're looking at the activate uh, naive T cells that bind to the antigen presenting cell and they become activated. Now, those activated T cells uh, bind to interleukin-4 that are produced by other cells, such as maybe 
base field. So base field produces interleukin 4, and that interleukin 4 goes and binds to the receptor. Uh, once this interleukin 4 is bound to the receptor, now this type of cells, this activated cells bound to the interleukin 4, they will become T help uh, T helper 2 cells. How does it happen? Now binding of interleukin 4 to the interleukin 4 receptors that's found on the surface of the activated T cell will uh, induce the expression of transcription factor that's called GATA3 and induction of this transcription factor obviously transcription factor will enter inside the nucleus we're not going to go through the genetics uh, in the nucleus I will basically express the genes the coding for interleukin 4, interleukin 5, interleukin 6 so all the interleukins or cytokines that are produced by T helper cell 2 and what is more interesting that T helper 2 cells also produces interleukin 4 and those interleukin 4 produced by the T helper 2 cells will go further bind to the interleukin 4 receptor on the surface of the activated T cell and generate even more T helper 2 cells and also interleukin 4 produced by the T helper cell will inhibit activity of macrophages so macrophages will be inhibited by this interleukin that's produced by the T helper 2 cells so to summarize it T helper 2 cells are produced in response to interleukin 4 and they produce interleukin 4 themselves and interleukin 4 further stimulates T cells to produce more T helper 2 cells and then at the same time interleukin 2 and interleukin 13 that's produced by T helper 2 cells will inhibit the macrophages furthermore interleukin 4 produced by the T helper 2 cells will stimulate the B cells to produce antibodies so you see how uh, different functions are performed by the same interleukin 4 that's produced by T helper cell A will inhibit the activity of macrophages and it will activate the B cells to produce antibodies in addition to interleukin 4 and 13 uh, T helper cell also produces interleukin 10 it produces interleukin 5 uh, interleukin 6 4 and 13 so those are the different chem uh, chemokines produced by T helper and interleukin 10 in turn will inhibit production of T helper 1 cells so what is interesting here that you see that the product of T helper 2 cells inhibit activity of T helper 1 cells and we saw earlier that the product of T helper 1 cell inhibit activity of T helper 2 cells so to summarize that uh, activated T cell binds to the interleukin 4, interleukin 4 and 13 inhibit macrophages, interleukin 4 also inhibits activity of B cells <coughs> and T cells produces uh, I, I mean activates, interleukin 4 activates B cells to produce antibodies and interleukin 4 and 13 also causes mast cells to uh, degenerate uh, uh, and uh, intestinal cells to produce mucus immunoglobulin E also uh, has to do with the mast cells and this one deactivate the macrophages so you see that the macrophages are deactivated by interleukin uh, 4 and 13 B cells are activated by interleukin 4 and further functions are performed so to summarize the whole thing uh, we looked at how macrophages produce interleukin 12 interleukin 12 activates the active T cells to become T helper 1 cells and natural killer cells produce interferon gamma interferon gamma also uh, binds to the receptor of active T cells and make them to become T helper 1 cells T helper 1 cells produces interleukin 2 and interferon gamma interferon gamma will further activate the T helper cell T cells to become T helper 1 cells and now you see this one over here interferon gamma will also inhibit proliferation of the 
T helper 2 cells and at the same time they will activate the macrophages and then macrophages will produce further cytokines interleukin 12 and interleukin 12 will go further stimulate the T cells to become more T helper 1 cells and also interferon gamma will further go and stimulate the T cells to become T helper 1 cells so you see there is a cycle going on here and at the same time the product of this one will stop activity of this one on the other hand if you have interleukin force, interleukin force will go and bind to the receptors on the uh, surface of the active uh, T cells and will make them T helper 2 cells and the T helper 2 cells will pr produce cytokines such as interleukin 10, 5, 13, 4, 6 and so forth. Now interleukin 10 uh, of that one will stop the activity of here we know we looked at how interleukin 4 will also uh, 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 activate the B cells to produce antibodies they will also activate the mast cells they will also activate the eosinophils eosinophils will produce more of the interleukin like interleukin 4 that's produced by the T helper 2 cells will go further bind to the activated uh, uh, T cells uh, with the receptor of interleukin 4 and more produce more of the those T helper 2 cells so there is a circle going on here there is a circle going on here and also the product of this one will stop activity of this people here uh, this cells and the activity of the product of T helper 1 cell will activi stop activity of this one I hope this helps you to understand the whole process